Hello and welcome to this bonus episode of Straight Talk. I'm Laurel Porter and we're talking with Larry Miller, the chairman of Nike's Jordan brand and also former Trailblazers president from 2007 to 2012. He also is the author along with his daughter of this book, Jump, My Secret Journey from the Streets to the Boardroom, where he talks about killing a young man when he was only 16 years old, serving time and then turning his life around and ascending the corporate ladder. And I'm so pleased to have Larry joining us here for this bonus episode because in our original episode, so we didn't get to talk about the Trailblazers, and I know a lot of people would be interested to know what you think. Since you you oversaw the team from 2007 to 2012, you helped draft uh, Damien, uh, which is a big honor that you did that. Um, what do you think about, you know, we all know the team struggled this year. What do you think about them right now? What should they do? Well, um, I know um, Phil Knight made an offer to buy the team, so I think they should, if it were up to me, uh, I, I think, uh, one, one of the issues that the Trailblazers have, I think, is that uh, getting players to want to come here and play. And I think part of that is, uh, it's, you know, Portland's kind of up here in the Pacific Northwest. But I also think um, the organization uh, hasn't figured out quite yet how to attract uh, star players. Um, and I think that's one of the things that, that, uh, that I think the organization needs to figure out. And I think, you know, if Phil owned the team, I think that would be a lot easier to do. You think Phil Knight could attract some star players? Absolutely. What do you think about Damien? Is he going to stick around? You know, I, I, I love Damien. I think uh, he's been amazing for the team and the city. I appreciate and uh, respect his loyalty to Portland. And, um, you know, I, I, I would love to see him stick around, but I would also love to see the team uh, put him in a position where he can win. Well, he'd sure like to, I think, have a championship. And, and I would love to see him. He, he deserves to get a championship. He's, uh, you know, one of the top five players in the league um, and has consistently been one of the top players in the league. And, uh, you know, I would, like I said, I would love to see the team put him in a position where he could win a championship. What should fans be watching for in the offseason, do you think? Uh, that, that's interesting. I mean, to me, it's, uh, you know, what – what is the team going to look to build and uh, build around Dame? Is the team going to look to rebuild completely? I think uh, those are things we should be looking to see what their decisions are. Are they going to make a decision to say, hey, we're going into full you know, uh, rebuild mode? And if that's the case, then maybe they look at do they keep Dame around or do they not keep Dame around? Or do they break, make a you know, full-blown effort to go out and bring in some help for Dame to be able to get him to a point where um, you know, we do have a shot at winning the championship here. What do you think the chances are that Jody Allen will, will sell the team anytime soon? Uh, I, I don't know. I know, like I said, I know Phil made an offer that they uh, didn't, didn't accept. Um, I don't know what their position is on whether or not they're planning to sell the team or when they're planning to sell the team. But, uh, but I, like I said, I, I think there's not a better person to me that could own the Portland Trail Blazers than Phil Knight. To and me, that's just a win-win for the city. It's a win for the team. It's a win for the fans. I, I just would, to me, that would be uh, that would be the ultimate to have Phil be the owner and be able to help uh, take this team to another championship. I think a lot of fans would agree with you. We'll be, we'll be watching for that. I'm kind of biased because Phil's a friend of mine. He's a friend I, of I, yours. You work I, for I, Nike. I, I would love to uh, to st I, I think that would be a major uh, win for the city. You're the chairman of the Michael Jordan brand at Nike. So we have to ask you about the new movie that's out called Air. And uh, it's a Ben Affleck directed movie. It chronicles the Nike pursuit and eventual signing of Michael Jordan by Nike's Sonny Vaccaro, who preceded you. It all started with them, with them, but you took over after that. You've been key. Uh, have you gotten a chance to see the movie yet? I, I haven't. I've, uh, there have been a number of showings, and every time I've not been able to attend the showing. Um, and I, but I plan to see it. I've heard nothing but positive things about it. I've heard it's a great movie. Um, I, I, uh, again, it was before my time, but I've heard the stories around, uh, around Sonny and around the people that were involved in, uh, in that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And Matt Damon plays Sonny. Our Orlando Sanchez got to interview Sonny Vaccaro, the real Sonny Vaccaro, who's 83 years old now. And we're going to show a clip from that interview where Vaccaro talks about how signing Jordan really changed history for sports, changed yeah. history for, for Nike, of course, and how powerful the brand is. Let's listen to what he said. But Michael, the word air on a movie, how the hell can that carry a movie? All you had to do was say air in a movie selling out. 
You didn't have to say Air Jordan. You didn't have to say this. Everybody knows Air is Michael Jordan. If Michael doesn't sign. That just shows you the power and the reach of the brand. And it's something that you've helped build. I, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be a part of uh, the Jordan brand and um, the building of the Jordan brand. And it's been amazing. It still amazes me to see, uh, you know, what we've been able to accomplish, the impact that the brand has um, in culture today uh, across the, the world, not just here in the U.S., but across the world. And to have been able to be a part of that and, and to make a contribution to that is really, uh, I'm, I'm really humbled and amazed that I was able to be a part of it. And you're meeting, I think you told me, next week with Michael Jordan? Yeah, well, we, we we have quarterly uh, board meetings, and so we're having a board meeting uh, next week. Can you tell us anything that's ahead for the Jordan brand? Um, Can you, you know, share anything? The, the business, the brand is still hot, it's on fire um, right now. You know, the brand is continuing to grow at, at incredible rates, and um, it's just to me amazing that uh, we've been able to have the kind of impact that we've had on. Uh, like I said, on the world, on culture. So I think Sonny's absolutely right. Um, signing of Michael Jordan was not just a, a major uh, benefit for Nike, but it was a benefit for the whole world. In our original episode of Straight Talk, where we talked to you, we talked a lot about your book, Jump, um, My Secret Journey from the Streets to the Boardroom. And it talks about how you had killed a young man when you were 16 in, in West Philly. And you served time and, and your remorse about that and how you kept that secret for so many years and finally revealed it in this book. Any chance that uh, they're going to make a movie out of your story? Uh, we've been actually talking to some folks about that. So um, th there is definitely interest uh, on some of the um, the movie houses, some of the folks who makes film have expressed interest and we're in conversations with people right now. So we'll see. Any idea who you'd want to play yourself <laughs> you know, everybody, in it? Everybody asks me that <laughs> and I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I figure I would let the movie folks figure that out. So. Well, it's a really riveting read if you'd like to read it and we'll, we'll watch for the movie. Larry Miller, thank you for joining us on Straight Talk and this bonus episode. Uh, thank you for having me and I uh, appreciate the opportunity to share uh, some, some words with you and appreciate everything that you do in the city. Thank you, Larry. It's a pleasure thank to you. meet you. Thank you for watching this bonus episode of Straight Talk.